Hi guys, Yu-Gi-Oh! Smurf here, and today is going to be another top five generic cards of a set. Videos by Yu-Gi-Oh! Smurf. Be creative. The set that we're talking about is Dimension of Chaos. Starting right off the bat at number five is Samurai Cavalry of Reptir. He is an Earth level four dinosaur pendulum of effect monster with no pendulum effect but with a monster effect of at the start of the damage step if this card attacks an opponent's face up monster that is not a pendulum monster that card gets destroyed this card is really good it is an answer for pendulum decks that are going up against non pendulum decks it, this is going to hurt them very much and help out some pendulum decks as well as just kind of other decks in general moving on to number 4 we have super rush head for the same reason that Reptir is on this list, so is Super Rush Headlong. Basically, what this allows you to do is give the effect that if one of your monsters battles an opponent's monster that is of a certain attribute, that monster is instantly destroyed before damage calculation. But this is a quick play spell card that can be played during the battle phase and can let you get some sneaky things in to get over your opponent's pesky monsters while being able to be played on any of your monsters so that way you don't have to run a specific monster now you just need to run a specific spell card and that's why it's number four moving on from there we have blazing mirror force it is a normal trap card that when an opponent's monster declares an attack you destroy as many attack position monsters your opponent controls as possible and if you do take damage equal to half the combined original attack of those monster destroyed and then your opponent takes the same amount of damage that you did take on mirror force that allows allows you to burn your opponent at the same time. However, it is important to note that it also burns you too, but a lot of times you're either in a dangerous situation because the full attack would kill you, which Blazing Mirror Force would stop because you only take half, and the fact that you're in a downside because now your opponent has more monsters than you do, which it also solves that problem while still doing damage to your opponent. So it's a take and give, and that's why it's number three on this list. Down to number two on the list, we have Grand Horn of Heaven. It is a counter trap card that during your opponent's main phase, when they would special summon a monster, you can negate the summon. And if you do destroy that monster, then your opponent draws a card, and then end the main phase. Starting off, it may seem kind of silly to negate an opponent's social summon only to let them draw a card, but it also makes your opponent end their main phase. So even if they got a really good card that they could use, they're not going to be attacking you with that card because they have to go immediately into their battle phase or into their end step, and they have to pick. And if they don't pick wisely at that time, you have just saved yourself one more turn to do your damage, do your skill, to do your tricks to them and that is why it is number two on this list like always before we go on to the number one top generic card of dimension of chaos we have three honorable mentions starting off we have vector pendulum the dragon overlord or the draco overlord this guy allows you to negate all of your opponent's pendulum monsters in the pendulum zone so some of those really pesky effects that are just kind of static just stop right then and there and that's what he's good for next up on the honorable mentions we have scarlight red dragon arch he is a powerful level eight synchro monster he is a powerful level eight synchro monster that allows you to destroy as many special summon effect monsters on the field with lower attack than itself really powerful Again, a generic synchro monster, mighty helpful. Lastly, on the honorable mentions, we have Painful Choice. It allows you to tribute one monster to add another monster with the same original type, attribute, and level, but with a different original name from your deck or graveyard to your hand. So this allows for some recycling and some deck thinning, and for a lot of strategies this is what you would need to help fuel the deck a little faster but it's not so good to actually be on our top five last but not least we are going into the number one spot of the top generic card of dimension of chaos and this is going to be the first time that something happens this number one is not actually one card it is three cards and that is gray Adil's alligator Cobra, and Eagle. All of these cards are generic. They don't require another Gradle anywhere in order for their effects to go off or activate. They simply require Alligator, a spell card destroying it, 
Cobra a trap card destroying it or Eagle a monster effect destroying it to then equip to a monster on your opponent's side of the field and you get to take control of that monster. Booyah. That is very devastating as, as we have seen with Snatch Steel, Mind Control, Brain Control, and these guys will do it punishing your opponent for destroying your resources and getting you even more resources in the process. There have been my picks for the top five generic cards of Dimension of Chaos. Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think another card should have been on the list? Again, let me know in the comments below and I can try and answer why I didn't think that it was on the top five list. Give this video a like for the newest set out there. Share this video so your friends know what you're talking about. Subscribe to me if you deem me worthy. Support me if you wish. Have a wonderful day, guys. See ya.